What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool transfer news video and we will talk about uh, Darwin Nunez potentially being unveiled at Liverpool today because he took a long flight from South America to Spain and then from Spain to England uh, where he arrived possibly late in the evening so today there will be the medical and all the official agreements and deals put in place and we could get an official place player announcement from Liverpool FC today so stay tuned and also we will have other big Liverpool news coming for you guys throughout the day so make sure to stay subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you never miss the latest uh, Liverpool updates and according to Fabrizio Arno and he shared that Darwin Nunez may sign also a six-year deal at Liverpool instead of a five-year deal which would take his contract until 2028 which would be absolutely fantastic because even if Darwin Nunez one day maybe wants to leave Liverpool and go to another league or another team Liverpool could sell him for a massive, massive amount of money. And according to Fabrizio Mano, Darwin Nunez will fly to Spain. He shared this a few hours ago. In the coming hours and then uh, he will be ready to fly to England in order to complete a move to Liverpool once contracts are signed with Benfica. The final details are discussed at the moment. Is it a five or a six year deal? The contract could be valid until 2028. And I think this is a big move from Liverpool, giving him a six year contract. Age is of course on Darwin Nunez's side, being so young. He could actually be Liverpool's main striker, number nine, for the next uh, 10 years, the next decade. And Darwin Nunez has already withdrawn from Uruguay international duty in order to fly to Liverpool to pass his medical and to press on with this transfer. So I can't wait until Liverpool releases the, you know, the usual videos and content about Darwin Nunez. So actually Fabrizio Mano shared this detail at like 2 a.m. So I, I probably missed it because I was at the Hungary-Germany game yesterday. What a great game that was and there will be a match vlog video coming later today to my channel probably in the evening. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And this was a big big update this morning from Fabrizio Mano that Liverpool have met with Benfica and Darwin Nunez. It took place in Portugal today this morning. Liverpool reached full verbal agreement with Benfica and with Darwin Nunez agents as well. So only medical now pending to be scheduled next week once the deal is signed. So Darwin Nunez could actually fly not today but on Monday to England, to Liverpool and then the medical will be completed. So maybe it will not be announced today but on Monday. But it's just a matter of days. Now it's uh, basically a formality. And Darwin Nunez is a fit player, so I've, I see very little chance of him failing a medical and this deal not happening. So we can celebrate Darwin Nunez is coming to Liverpool and he is going to be Liverpool's club record transfer for a record 80 million pounds or 85 million pounds. They we smashed the previous transfer record from Liverpool which was paid of course to Vir for Virgil van Dijk to Southampton. What a fantastic transfer this is. Let me know your reaction in the comments below. How many goals will Darwin Nunez score? Let's have a fun game of prediction. I think he will score 20 goals next season with the amount of chances that we Liverpool create. Of course it depends how many games he actually starts up front at Liverpool. That is debatable. But I think he will start a lot of games. That's why I'm saying he will score 20 goals because uh, if he stays fit and he if he starts like 20, 35, 40 games, he can easily score 20 goals uh, with the finishing ability that he has. And the Telegraph newspaper is also reporting that Liverpool are expecting Bayern Munich to meet their 40 million pound valuation for Sadio Mane in the next few days. So Liverpool could have almost half of Darwin Nunez's transfer fee already coming in to the club from a player sale. Bayern already have seen two offers rejected, but they are hopeful of completing a deal early next week. Mane has just over 12 months left, of course, on his existing contract, and he's pretty certain to leave. He wants a new challenge. He already told that to Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp, and he already met with uh, Bayern Munich representatives. Uh, probably his agent met them. Klopp is also sanctioning the departure of Minamino, who is a target for uh, Ligue 1 club Monaco 
as well as Leeds United and other clubs like Southampton. Wolves as all well have also inquired about Minamino, but Monaco are understood to be favourites to sign the attacking midfielder at this stage. And Darwin Nunez, what a player he is! He scored 34 goals in all competitions last season. He actually found a very rare, not before seen by many goal, which he scored for Armeria, which I shared on my Twitter account. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, it's at TomLFCHeaven and you can find that tweet if you go to my page, to my profile on Twitter and you can watch that absolute banger of a goal when he was still only 20 years old playing for Almeria in La Liga 2 he scored a spectacular goal, you should watch that and you should follow me on Twitter. And also there was an update on Rafinha, many said that he was on Liverpool's transfer list, he definitely wasn't the number one transfer target, but uh, the reports saying that Rafinha instead decided to try and go to Barcelona, he's reportedly very keen to sign for Barcelona, despite Rafinha supposedly opting for a move to Barcelona rather than Liverpool. Leeds United are still keen to get 70 million for Rafinha and I don't think he's worth that much and I also don't think Barcelona have that m amount of money and if they have they shouldn't splash it on Rafinha they should sign a player who is, who is a little bit more prolific in front of goal but it's very very hard to see how many goals Rafinha would score in a big team because where, who dominates games because Leeds United were fighting against relegation so actually his goals to games ratio is not that bad when you consider Leeds United weren't dominating most games that they played in. So Liverpool are also expecting a major uh, progress and major advancement in this Sadio Mane to Liverpool transfers to my Bayern Munich transfer saga and when, once that happens you know Liverpool will gladly take the 40 million that Bayern Munich hopefully will offer and if we can also offload some other players then we can recoup a majority of that, that 80 or 85 million transfer fee depending on uh, how many bonuses and add-ons will be triggered by Darwin Nunez during his time at Liverpool. And Michael Thomas is already, uh, who is a former Liverpool player, is already excited about Darwin Nunez arriving at Liverpool but he also was thinking about how uh, his arrival could change the plans Jurgen Klopp tactically has in the games and the tactical plan, the tactical setup. Darwin Nunez has really had a really good season at Benfica and all the top teams are looking at him. He will be a great signing for Liverpool. He has pace, he has strength, he can finish but let's not forget, he can link up play as well. He's very good with his feet, he's good in the air, he can score headers, he can score all types of goals. And the one thing I would say is that he's not a player of the same ilk as Bobby Firmino, who will pick it up, turn, and be able to play the, the ball to the runners off him. It will be interesting to see how Jurgen Klopp adjusts uh, ta his tactics to fit Darwin Nunez into the Liverpool system, into the Liverpool playing style. If they do, uh, as in, and if, uh, if they do finalize the deal, I think there sh sh should still be a role for Firmino in there as well, because no one else can bring what Firmino brings to Liverpool. I think in, in Man City signing Erling Haaland, they have a more, more proven striker who is probably less of a gamble and I'm sure Liverpool would have bitten your hands off, off, off for him. Sadio Mane leaving will be a massive blow and it will be down to Luis Diaz to step up and contribute massively along with the other forwards in the team as well. Of course all transfers are gambles and Liverpool would, would have loved to sign Haaland but we just can't pay the wages that, that Man City pay. Haaland is getting almost like £400,000 per week. That's more than double of uh, what uh, Sadio Mane is getting. It's, it's um, almost double of what Mo Salah is getting right now. And Liverpool, if they decide to pay that amount, then they have to pay that amount at least to Mo Salah and uh, all the other players will come knocking on the door. On the other hand, Darwin Nunez might actually score almost as many goals as Haaland and he might actually become almost as good as Haaland or maybe even as good as Haaland, we don't know that yet. The, the ceiling is very high for Darwin Nunez and Liverpool have to pay around like 100-150k weekly wages to Darwin Nunez right now which is significantly less, like 60-70% less of what Haaland's wages are. And that is a huge difference and it makes a big difference for Liverpool as well and Liverpool are great at finding these kind of players, the up and coming good players, great players who Liverpool can, be, be, Liverpool can make them world class. Look at like 
half of our starting eleven. Every single player, almost, in the starting eleven, apart from maybe Van Dijk, Fabinho and Alisson, wasn't even close to the world-class level. Salah wasn't close uh, to the world-class level before he arrived uh, to Liverpool. Nobody was talking about him as one of the top 10 players in the world. Same with Mane, same with Firmino, same with uh, Robertson, definitely, Matip, Gomez, Konate, Trenox, Ronald, a lot of these players who Liverpool signed or brought through the Youth Academy, they made them world class. And that's what the plan is for, with Darwin Nunez as well. And according to a recent report, Liverpool have opened contract talks with Nabi Keita, the 27-year-old mid midfielder, also has only one year left on his contract. And that is absolutely brilliant that Liverpool are opening contract talks because I absolutely love Nabi Keita as a player. And this season he has been available more cons consistently. And he, because of that, he has also been able to have a run of games and perform more consistently. And speaking of the Champions League final, you guys have said this about Nabi Keita. Especially, especially for players like Nabi Keita, it's important that he can train consistently and play consistently. That's possible when you are not injured and that's what happened to Nabi Keita this year. And it has been a really, really important season for Nabi Keita because it just showed Liverpool that if Nabi is fit and available, then he is one hell of a player and he can contribute massively to Liverpool. And I expect Nabi Keita, if he stays fit next season, to score even more goals and to get even more assists because he can still improve. And we still haven't seen the full potential of Nabi Keita. I'm pretty convinced at that. And Fulham, Fulham are also eyeing a potential double transfer on Liverpool. Of course, Liverpool have a good relationship with Fulham, having signed Fabio Carvalho from them, Harvey Elliott, and uh, they are maybe trying to sign Takumi Minamino, and we could also sell Neko Williams to them. Neko Williams is another promising player who, is, who hasn't quite fulfilled his potential yet, so perhaps it makes sense for Liverpool to move, to move, move both uh, Minamino and Neko Williams on in something of a squad revamp ahead of next season. And also we need money coming in as well if you we want to make um, this Darwin Nunez transfer work financially. So let me know what do you think about all these topics that we discussed and I'm really, really excited to bring you guys another Liverpool transfer news update video either later today or early tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And also a brand new FIFA 22 Liverpool career world episode is dropping later today. I'm already uploading it. Really excited to bring you guys that as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Good night.